so let us come back and do one of your ncrt numerical very interesting and easy numerical let's see this uh, right so we have uh, gradually you know we are trying to do different types of numericals where like uh, your osmotic pressure van toff's factor all these are related let's see this question again related to your van toff's factor but in relation to your freezing point that is depression freezing point basically first let us see what to find out calculate the depression and freezing point i have to calculate depression and freezing point that is delta tf i have to i need to calculate but what in what relation to what uh, 10 grams of this is given kf is given okay k is also given so whenever this data is given to you remember ka what is ka it is dissociation constant acid dissociation constant so acid this particular uh, chloro acetic acid or uh, chloro if i specifically say chloro one two three propanoic acid if i have to count this also chloro bitanoic acid then let's come back so the acid dissociation constant is given to me that means i have to use the van toff's factor so tf is equal to i into kf into molality so what is this further tf is equal to i into kf into <coughs> molality is w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 this is your formula yes let's come back and see what what data is given to me given data calculate the depression and freezing point of water when 10 grams of this okay solute weight is given to me that is 10 grams is added to 250 grams of solvent more weight of water also is given to me 250 grams ka is given to me 1.4 into 10 to of minus 3 kf is given to me 1.86 k kg mole inverse 1 done let's come back and see <coughs> i have to find tf so first i should know i okay i will find out kf is already there W2 is already there, the M2, what is M2? The molecular weight of the solute which is equal to 122.5 gram per mole. The molar mass of uh, this acid is 122.5, okay, WM2 is also there, W1 is there. Now I have to calculate I, o I only is left, let's come back and see. So basically when you have to calculate I, <coughs> you have to first know or there's a relation between your concentration as well as your i value isn't it let's come back and do that first pick this up now to find i to find i first ch3 ch2 ch cl coh dissociates into now this is one part of the anion this is your cation so ch3 ch2 ch cl co minus plus h plus done the same story which we did when the concentration the initial concentration so initial concentration is this is this particular thing is one mole okay one mole okay one mole per liter done <coughs> that particular time this these the concentration of these two will be product will be zero now further at equilibrium now the reaction has reached to equilibrium that no reaction like everything it's over in the concentration of this is if i take this as c moles this becomes c alpha which we've discussed already this also becomes alpha is degree of dissociation then the concentration number of moles is equal to c alpha then this becomes c into 1 minus alpha done now what is uh, your uh, ka ka is nothing but c alpha into products by reactant c alpha into c alpha by c into 1 minus alpha which is nothing but this this gets cancelled c alpha square by 1 minus alpha c here now what happened what is 1 minus alpha alpha 1 minus alpha is a concentration of the reactant okay at equilibrium that's very less quantities and a very minor quantity because everything got converted to your product so i can neglect 1 minus alpha because it is less than 1 it is already converted to product the concentration is very very less so you can neglect this c1 1 minus alpha quantity so what are we left with we are left with ka is equal to c alpha square done <coughs> so what is c now alpha i already have degree of uh, dissociation okay let's see if i have it or not so concentration let us calculate so concentration if i have to uh, see here concentration is equal to n by v what is n n is weight by molecular weight into wall 1 by v so what is the weight or uh, given to us weight given to us 
for uh, which one this is of the solute so 10 grams 10 divided by 122.5 into what is the volume given they uh, they said 250 grams of water it's dissolved uh, the, the weight is given to us isn't it yeah so uh, volume uh, yeah volume is uh, it's added to 250 grams of water this it so i can take that as 250 grams when I solve all these things, yes, when I completely solve concentration, I get an answer of 0 0.3264 concentration. Now take that concentration, substitute here. K is equal to 0 0.3264 into alpha. Yes. So now let us uh, write the value for alpha. That is your degree of dissociation. I have to calculate that. Now this is your alpha square, isn't it? Let us write that alpha square. Now alpha square is equal to <coughs> Ka divided by 0 0.3264. Done. What is Ka value given to us? Alpha is equal to root of what is Ka given? Ka given is 1.4 into 10 raised of minus 3 divided by 0 0.3264. When I solve this, I get an answer of 0 0.065. So, alpha answer I've got concentration. Now, I still have to calculate Kf. Let us come back, erase the board and do the remaining part. So, now the board is erased. We have already done till what? We have already got uh, the alpha part. We also got concentration. Now, I am still left with I. Now, let us calculate I because I have to calculate K, uh, Kf. So, to calculate I, <coughs> what? how do we do this? Again, take the same thing because uh, you have to find that uh, uh, C alpha. This dissociates into CH3, CH2. CHCLCO minus plus H plus. This is what is the dissociation. Now we already wrote at uh, initial concentration. At initial concentration, this will uh, the concentration would be like some C, okay, mole per liter, right? Now this will be zero and zero. Now when the dissociation that is at equilibrium, when I take this particular concentration, the degree of dissociation is alpha, this degree of dissociation is alpha. Now we are not finding the concentration, only the degree of dissociation so that I can uh, calculate I and then take it into the formula of Kf, that is I into Kf. So this becomes what? 1 minus alpha. Now let us write, according to Van Hoff, total number of moles is equal to add all this and minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha minus alpha plus alpha gets cancelled we are left with one uh, one plus alpha done yes so that one plus alpha let's come back and further to we very well know total number of moles is equal to number of moles after dissociation divided by initial number of moles initial number of moles so what is the total number of moles 1 plus alpha initially how much was it c that is 1 1 so to, total number of moles is 1 plus alpha so for this let me erase the board <coughs> i need the board for the last part so i have got one i is equal to let us do the part c part i is equal to one plus alpha done what is one plus alpha alpha is nothing but one zero point zero six five which is equal to one point zero six five i got i value now let's come back and calculate part d delta tf is equal to kf into i into kf into w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 now let us uh, substitute delta tf i value kf value weight of solute molecular weight of solute 1000 weight of solvent when I solve this, I get an answer of 0 0.65 degrees centigrade. So, this is your answer. Everything is clearly mentioned one after the other. Please try to write the formula, write the given data, try to substitute in the formula, finally write the units.